Hey guys, Triple C here. A little board at work right now. So, I decided to try out on live. Where you basically play stream video games without much need of your own hardware. So, basically, depends on your internet connection that determines how good the video game plays. Now this computer I'm on is on a uh, Intel Core 2 E2200 processor and a 3850 graphic card. So uh, it's nothing fancy, pretty, not exactly fast computer. And then uh, I got an OnLive account. Right now they have a beta, uh, beta testing going on so you can get OnLive and play the beta games while this while the beta, uh, play the games for free while this, the beta is going on so let's check it out try something out so it's pretty too righteous to do that so I suggest you give it a try it is actually a lot better than I expected so then uh, just go to my games you can play the beta and then doing beta it has some games some of them are cool some of them are indie games, but regardless, it's pretty interesting. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run Hawks. I was just running that earlier because it's got a benchmark thing that way. Like, the, it kind of requires you to have a uh, controller. I'm sure you can change the keyboard settings, but it doesn't work so well with me. So, yeah, so I'm gonna use the controller. Uh, to actually play, but this thing have what do you call it? It has a um, benchmark tool, so I can run the benchmark tool. That way you can see how it performs. It's actually pretty good if you don't require that extremely high resolution. See, like if you have a uh, netbook like mine, low resolution monitor. Not so much low, but just something that's not too big. It's actually very decent performance on this thing. Right, as you can see, the quality, it's pretty alright. Go to the video setting. You cannot change the video setting, it's locked to 1280 times 720 So it's more or less kind of like an Xbox kind of resolution Which is decent enough So let's run the performance test Just to get an idea of what kind of quality you're getting to play video games on, on light platform Sometimes when it's kind of lagging, you can see the quality of the video kind of degrades. Okay, you can see it there. Now it kind of looks like a low resolution video. But then if you just look at it, the screen like that, it's pretty good and enjoyable. So I'm actually surprised it worked this good. I thought it was just some gimmicky thing. You know, streaming video again. You don't got to own a computer anymore. The idea of that kind of freaks me out a little bit. It's like, are we really that good to do something like that yet? You know what I mean? Huh, so you can use keyboard. Alright, let's try it out. Let's actually try it out to play something. Uh, okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Fire missile. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Alright, let's see. General settings, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Uh, I'll just uh, play whatever. New. 
go, go, go. It doesn't look bad. Although it does look like it does look like video, you know, like a YouTube video, a high resolution. It doesn't look like a high quality video game that you install on your computer and run, but it does follow the controls. So I see this thing for the people that don't want to spend a lot of money on a new computer. It's perfect. Because you can basically play on any modern computer that doesn't have a lot of whoa 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 come back that doesn't take a, that doesn't have a lot of good specs and stuff like that. And there's no leg. Look at that. Well, I can't say it's perfect, but it's damn impressive from what I expected from it. So as you can see, it's not very clear and stuff. But then let's see if you're actually nitpicking the details. Yeah, that's pretty dang cool. So that's on live. Thanks for watching.